Hi, Mr. Pepple here, and in this little video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about electrical resistance in a filament light bulb. So previously we have found out about Ohm's law, which was uh, first stated by this guy, George Ohm. Okay, and what Ohm's law says is that uh, the current through a resistor at a constant temperature is directly proportional to the potential difference across the resistor. Now, we saw this with the um, graph before. We saw that, yep, yeah, indeed, um, as the voltage increased up here, the current went up, and we had that nice straight line there because we found that the um, graph was directly proportional. Okay, so we saw that Ohm's law was true, but the law only applies to what we call ohmic conductors. Okay, so only an ohmic conductor will follow Ohm's law. Okay, but what if we're not looking at ohmic conductors? Well, that's what we're going to think about today, and the first thing we're going to think about is a light bulb, and the important bit here when we think about a light bulb is this bit that says uh, the current through a resistor at a constant temperature. So that's going to be important here today. So a filament light bulb is one of these more sort of old fashioned light bulbs that you um, don't see so much of anymore. Okay, and it actually works by this piece of wire gets hot and it glows and that's how the light bulb works. And just to sort of remind ourselves, there's the uh, circuit symbol for that you might see in an exam paper. Okay, so if we have a little look at the current versus potential difference graph for a filament light bulb, what we actually see is um, in this region here, in this part of the graph, yeah, it does seem that as the potential difference increases, the current seems to increase, okay? But then, when you get up to this part, something happens, okay? And the current doesn't continue to increase with the increase in potential difference. Well, why is that? Well, it's because of the change in temperature. Remember, ohmic, conduct um, ohmic conductors are those uh, referring to things at constant temperature. OK, so as the wire in the filament here starts to heat up, the ions that it's made out of start to vibrate more. So they cause more collisions with the flow in electrons. Remember, the current is the flow of electrons, which causes more resistance because they're bumping into more things, basically. OK, and the increase in electrical resistance resists the flow of the current. OK, what we've actually got here is what we call a non-ohmic conductor. OK, so, yeah, it does conduct electricity, but it doesn't obey Ohm's law. And you can also see here that basically taking the battery out and turning it around, reversing the potential difference makes no difference to the shape of the graph. It still curves off in that same way there. So there we go. We can see that a filament light bulb is an example of a non-ohmic conductor. And as the temperature of the light bulb increases or the temperature of the filament increases, the resistance goes up. OK, any problems with that at all, don't hesitate to tweet me at Mr. Underscore Pepperell on Twitter and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by.